White Walker perpetuated offenses are considered especially heinous. In Westeros, four dedicated friends investigate and discuss these vicious episodes as members of an elite squad known as a podcast has no name. I'm Ambush. I'm Morgan. And today we have a special in-studio guest. Michael Bramage. Oh, welcome. <laughs> and this is A Podcast Has No Name. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> we back. We back. So today we're talking about Captain Marvel, mm-hmm. recently released. Mm-hmm. Carol Danvers becomes one of the universe's most powerful heroes when Earth is caught in the middle of a galactic war between two alien races. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. And this is, I think this is the 20th film. 21st, I thought. 21st film? In oh, the, in the I movie. have not, I have yeah, not, he, not kept count. Right, I'm, Somebody's I'm, gonna have to look that one up. Oh, I'm God. thinking it's the 21st, but okay. we'll find out. So, while Morgan's getting that information, what was your overall feeling going into the film, and was it met? I was optimistic, okay. mostly from the trailers being so f- much fun and really building us up because we didn't have a uh, anything else to go on than our end credit scene in Infinity War. Right, right. And, uh, okay, well, you know, they're talk about, they've been talking about maybe she'd get to be in Infinity War altogether. Nope, they cut that out. So here we are. Well, um, you know, I... Ha- I- I have a certain thing for Captain Marvel, another version we'll talk about later. Um, <laughs> but it carries the legacy because my dad read the Captain Marvel comics in the 70s. This is pre Carol Danvers. She would have been a co star at the time. Mm-hmm. Um, but I was so, I was so excited. I couldn't, uh, th- like, this is happening. Wow. Right. What fun is this? <laughs> it's buoyant and bouncy. It gets to be serious and it gets to have. R- Laughter that do- never seems forced. The humor never seemed forced in the Very film. true. Very true. Um, I think uh, I was excited primarily because this was one of the first uh, solo hero-, hero films in the MCU from a character that we didn't have any interaction with prior. Mm-hmm. So when Black Panther got his solo film, we'd already seen him on the screen. Uh, everyone was in Avengers, you know, and... Yeah, you know, so we everyone we, we were able to see these characters interact. She was just off, gone. So it was like, okay, now we're getting Captain Marvel. How are you going to tie this in? What is this going to look like? And like you said, every trailer that came out was just more and more exciting. It's like she is kicking ass. This is going to be amazing. This is going to be amazing. What about you, MJ? What was the question? <laughs> Uh, I found the answer real quick. It's oh, so the what, 21st film. 21st film. Okay, okay. so we got okay. that. Okay. Um, question was, what were your feelings going into the film and were they met? Uh, I was excited. I thought I would be entertained. I thought that it would be a, a good movie. Michael told me it was fun. So you hear that and it doesn't, it doesn't really go, yeah, that is exactly it until you're watching it and you realize what he meant by fun. Right. It's a bunch of fun. There are, it has its own humor. I didn't expect that. I didn't know what to expect in that regard, I guess. But uh, yes, completely met and then some. I do like uh, your description of it not feeling forced. It was very true. Mm -hmm. Very true. I felt like there were times when I was just watching the sitcom and I knew all the characters. You know, <laughs> yeah, it was that comfortable. It yeah. was that easy to slip into. When they were, what was that place called? Ponchos? When they uh-huh. were, in, yeah. Uh-huh. When they were there and that whole exchange, it was just like, just watching a couple friends. Yeah. And it was just really, it was, it was funny. It was, it was, yeah. I, I loved it. I loved it. It was nice to see um, Fury and uh, <laughs> uh, Mar- Mar- did we decide it was Maria? Maria. Yes. Maria. Click. And, yes, and yeah. more more fun even when I saw the film that the cut in the trailers, when you see the hand bump from the back, yeah, is the two of is them. the two of them, not him and Carol. Yes, <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was real satisfying. Yeah. I was just kind of giddy through the whole film. <laughs> Getting more Nick in a movie, period. I think I didn't expect that, and the relaxing uh, it. I mean, I did from the uh, from the trailers. trailer, right. But it wasn't my thought going into knowing there was going to be a Captain Marvel movie. Yeah. Um, but getting more of him and young Nick is I I that 
technology is super dope. Yeah. Uh, it was it was fun. He was relaxed. He wasn't a jerk. You will, so let's jump because <laughs> we're doing it now. <laughs> we'll circle back around to to Carol, but let's talk about Nick. We've already started going into the, the character summaries. Um, yeah, this version of Nick had a lot less weight on his shoulders because he didn't know what our present day Nick. He hasn't experienced right. all of that yet. So, you know, the, the mistakes he was making and just the way he was moving around, that he hadn't achieved that sense of confidence that present day Nick Fury just, when he walks into Exudes. a room, it's like, oh shit, it's Nick. Who's that guy? <laughs> oh, that guy means <laughs> business. Nick's mm-hmm. here. He's got a trench on and it is 80 degrees. And it's Nick. <laughs> and it's so, <laughs> yeah, so, everyone calm down. But he has an ease. There was an ease of, yes. was, you know, yes. he didn't, he, you didn't see him panic. You didn't see him do anything that was out that was so out of character. Being a younger version, it was, which is wild because he's seen some shit he's never seen before <laughs> in his life. That is wild enough to make someone panic, right? Yeah, and he right. did it with ease. There yeah. was a somewhat of a confidence there. Like I can't believe this shit, but I know for sure it's happening. <laughs> right. And and having that that real feeler to know that. Carol was the right person to align with mm-hmm. and to believe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. You know, we didn't spend half of the movie of him, her having to convince, convince him, him. Yeah. Which thank you. Like, yeah. Let's, yeah. Let's get rid of that. Yeah. <laughs> and that's, that's some really good storytelling. Cause how many times have we seen this? Right. How many times have we been dissatisfied with the main characters trying to get on the same page? It's like, what is it going to take for you to believe them? Right. What, and we're, as you know, as viewers, we're like, no, but we see this crazy shit. Don't you don't see it. You don't see it. Yeah. So, yeah. That was that was great that they skipped over that for us. Yeah. Right. It it made the first act of the film a lot more efficient, but it didn't it didn't necessarily cut corners. Yes. Right. It didn't no, not at all. Mm-hmm. It felt like it was supposed to be there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Paced mm-hmm. very well. Paced Thank very you. well. Uh, I have my words tonight. Sorry. Gonna, I want to save Carol for last. Okay. Oh, okay. Fancy. Fancy. Uh Talos. He was Far funnier than I anticipated from any of the trailers. The twist of, you know, just the whole flip for the scrolls for me. Because as I remember them in the comics, they were never the good guys. Ever. Right. There were, there were this whole refugee situation. Never. There was never any compassion for any scrolls. At any point. Wow, so that had to be crazy for you guys, it, huh? Oh yeah, it was. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the refugees. Whereas I'm he like, look how relatable this is. What to be with his family? Where are these? Where are these scrolls coming from the corners? What is happening? Noble oh scrolls. God. Wow. Okay, you're flipping that on its head too. But yeah. they don't. This could be a temporary thing. This could be just one group of scrolls having right. been. Sure refugee from a war who've got a different perspective there could still be something between these two Nefarious. opposing forces exactly but, you know i don't think oh, the, that had the, to be crazy the, for i don't you. i can't imagine the kree are any better than the scrolls right. or vice versa in terms of whatever the conflict is but they made it make sense because isn't that what war is every single member of that of that race isn't going to be at the front lines mm-hmm. involved with the conflict you right. have just civilians you have people that are just caught up in caught up in what's going on, and as kids, and when they were presenting, you know, these alien races to us, they always gave it to us as they had one monolithic agenda. That's it. These were the good aliens. Those were the bad aliens. Right. That's mm-hmm. it. And scrolls were always the bad aliens. Period. <laughs> there was never, never an opportunity, but um, never opportunity to see them otherwise. But Marvel has seized this. What they've done with the movies. And they started putting it in the books now. The scrolls have their own book. Issue one, I saw it two days ago. It's Meet, it's meet wow. the Scrolls. And this is actually um, a family of scrolls that are undercover, that are hiding. <laughs> <laughs> that are hiding here on Earth. And the. Are the they hiding behind. because they're refugees or are they spying because I, they're I, I'm not sure. I didn't, I didn't pick up the book, but. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> One of the employees in the comic shop was like, it's hilarious. And I was like, yeah, I don't know if I'm ready to go there yet. Wow. I just, I don't know. I just wasn't ready. I just, I grabbed some other titles. I like, yeah, yeah <laughs> do some more research. I'm not sure. And usually the best way to get me is put an issue one in front of me. 
Yeah, I'm that guy. Oh, that. you're that guy? I'm that guy. Wow, I'm such a hard sell. Issue one? I get a chance to get another one? <laughs> oh, wow. I, I might never buy issue two, but I got one. I can say that. It's, yeah. <sighs> That's beautiful. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm the curmudgeon. I'm the old guy who's like, you know, he hears from when he, I've just been five years going to things from another world, mm-hmm. and uh, I love those folks. Um, but there was there was a member of their staff was like, oh, I'm gonna get you to like something new. Uh, uh-huh. <laughs> good sure. good luck. Good good luck with sure. that. <laughs> um, you know, I, I'm always willing to try, but there has I have I have not yet bought a new comic book on mm. spec. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, that's how they get me. That's definitely yeah, and don't let it be a mini series. It's okay. oh, that's so wonderful. Yeah. You're ready for the. You're ready for fresh stuff. Yeah, I am because there's am. things that are happening out there. It's great. The comics are great. Indeed. Uh, did you have anything on uh, Talos? Man, I loved him, <laughs> and, and I, I didn't think you were supposed to love him. Yeah, that um, and that whole flip of them not being the enemy was like, I don't know why I believed him immediately. Yeah. Like, I, the whole thing just made sense. I believed yeah. it immediately. We're not supposed to normally, right? right? It's like, this guy's just pulling a double cross. Right. 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 But it, it didn't, it wasn't. It yeah. never felt like that. I don't know how they, I know there's some acting technique or writing yeah. technique mm-hmm. that gets that result. Yeah. And but, I don't know what it's called, but hats off and all of that, because. It worked. It worked. You did it. You pulled I believed it off. him. I was just like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> No, he need, he's the one who needs help here. <laughs> Remember huh. where they were like, uh, so can you turn into a cat? What's a cat? <laughs> can you turn into a filing cabinet? Why Why would, why I, would I do that? Why would I do that? <laughs> like, would I do yeah, that? that was good stuff. <laughs> yeah, I struggled with the Ben Men. It's Ben Mendelssohn, right? Yes. I struggle with that because that's, really? I just... It's like every role is right there because his voice is so distinctive with his accent. Mm. Mm. It wasn't as crisp as, say, Rogue One, but it was more like okay. the common yeah. Yeah. Ben Mendelsohn speak. Yeah. And so I've struggled with uh, the scroll part. It was his scroll makeup seemed more something that was not like the other scrolls. Okay. It was a little bit too smooth. It was a little bit too okay, we have to make sure we make the actor look good, which is fine. <laughs> <laughs> Even as but an alien. Even I, as a as an alien. But I, I str I, I I just felt kind of uh oh yeah, it's Ben Mendelssohn. <laughs> Even though everybody else in the cast is recognizable as well. But I, right. I don't know. It's kinda of like Christoph Waltz. I get the same thing, but sometimes it's I can't get enough of you. Oh yeah. Or uh, oh, oh yeah. it's Christoph Waltz oh, again. It's you again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Speaking of it's Man. you again. Jude Law. <laughs> <laughs> Ron Jan Rog. <laughs> the Man. real villain. Was he? I don't know. I, yeah, I, I thought I yeah. felt the whole villain thing in the movie was super murky. It, she oh. didn't really have a specific enough so enemy I, I thought it... after there was after she befriended scrolls. It was more like, "Oh, you all brought me down, and now I'm now I'm pissed." <laughs> but but she it, didn't want to kill anyone. Is that what you're saying? Like right, she right. She didn't have that level of. And anger. I don't know how far we'll go into any spoiler territory with. You oh, know, no, we're like talking third, about like yeah. into the third oh, act me? of the film. Yeah, okay. yeah I haven't seen that. So, right. so, yeah, so oh, yeah, but yeah, I, I, I could say confidently, I felt like he was definitely the villain. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because I mean, he was doing everything in his power to suppress her and control her, and you know, for their ends. You know. Yeah. So I. I yeah. Yeah. He, he viewed her as a weapon. Period. A more powerful weapon. The most. Yeah. <laughs> but a weapon he couldn't activate, though, entirely. They could mediate it, the powers, it seemed like, but it seemed as if that there was an issue that if they let her go too far with them, then that creates the problem. Yeah. With right. Yeah. The little doodad in her neck. Yeah. Spoiler. They had no way to really gauge it. Yeah. Yeah. She, yeah. Something must have happened. To show how powerful like she some was. some accidents. Yeah. Something, you know, mm-hmm. that would mm-hmm. make them say, we ha- we can't, no. Yeah. <laughs> it can't be that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Professor X level suppression. 
which we'll be seeing in in just another couple yeah. months. <laughs> coming right, up. coming right. up. So that was Talos. We, talk, we yeah. talked about Talos. Talos. I don't know if he if the character name has any kind of uh, root in Marvel comic, regular Marvel comics, or mm-hmm. anything like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't. No, uh, I don't. I don't remember. Actually, yes, I did see that somewhere. And there's like another name for him. It's like Talos the something. Mm. Kind of like Ronan the, Eccle- oh, the right. Accuser. The Punisher. Scary. Yeah, it's something. So yeah, we cover Talos, Yon Rog, uh, the Supreme Intelligence. Oh, that's a character. Uh huh. That's a, That was an interesting deal. Yeah. So the person they see as their uh, god or. Was it their most important, that most influential well, person? Well, I'm them. just trying to explain the supreme intelligence. Yes. Is that's their oh, right, right. all knowing, all seeing, all all things, right? right? And then you see, everybody sees something different. Right. So nobody's seeing the same thing because it's what you see who you most admire. Right. Is that right? It's yeah. something along those lines. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so nobody really knows who anybody else sees. Right. She sees Lawson. Yes. Played Dr. Lawson. Yes. Mm-hmm. The stunning. Amazing. She looked amazing. And, that short and haircut. that bedding looked fantastic. Yes. yes. I that love that haircut. Great. Right. Yes, perfect. Contacts were like, ooh, that's an extra yeah. spooky effect. That's <laughs> exactly. really nice to see. <laughs> yeah. But having her be Dr. Lawson, which is a is the real the other call out to yes. the predis- the comic book predecessor for her in the Marvel universe. Right. Um, Captain Marvell in the sixties was a Dr. Lawson or something of that yep. nature. Right. Yep. Um, I don't know, was that? Genders. Yeah, yeah. 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 I like that. It was really nice to see. Mm-hmm. Um, I would have liked to have seen a, when everything was uh, uh, breaking down for the Supreme intelligence, if we'd had a flash of what, the what it lo- what it looks like in the comic books, which right. is that sort of potato head with a big gaping yeah. mouth, right. and yeah. spaghetti <clears throat> spaghetti stuff. Hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> and you always see up. it on some sort of crazy screen. Like a screen. Yeah. Um, you know, I can remember that back uh, in early seventies Avengers with the Kree skull war, scroll war going mm-hmm. on, and mm-hmm. um, us getting to know Captain Marvel and more of the co- more cosmic stuff than just Galactus and the Silver Surfer yeah. coming to meet the Fantastic Four. Yep. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, next we have Maria Rambo. Let's bring them together. Now I'm going to let Monica have her own time. You're right. Monica yeah. needs her own time. Monica needs her own time. Maria was amazing. Um, it was great to just see a strong black woman yes. in this film. In uh, that position. Yeah, especially in that position. Um, she held it down. Mm-hmm. Held it down completely. And was a great contrast to what we normally see in Marvel films. Period. Just just the women in this film all together. Excellent. Just, I, I, I loved it. I loved it. Anyway. I loved their bonding. Her, she, she gets enough character development outside of Carol to be to be meaningful to the, to the trajectory of the story, mm-hmm. and and uh, you know hanging out on the farm, there, the property with with uh, you know the scrolls and with Nick Fury, just rounds it out. We get to see who she is as a person by how her house is decorated and with yeah. her child, and yeah, um, we get to see her age as well. Um, what I don't know is, I guess the the early young version is is that what how the actress looks today and did they do you think they aged her f- hmm. I mean how many years difference did went six. by six okay yeah. I wasn't yeah, sure wasn't I, much. I don't yeah. think they did yeah I don't think did so they? I don't think maybe so. hair a little different the hair seemed Just real different smaller. to me the six years later little but little I couldn't I you know only saw the movie once couldn't put my finger on it I did yeah I don't I don't it know don't that crack, I noticed though. There's no, there's no need to do too much aging there, right? Yeah. No, she she was. They were great. So yeah, great absolutely. Fun. Yeah, and she got to be a pilot too. Yes, on screen time. On screen right. time, not just you know, like you know right. the thumbs up when they're out in the jets, right? Right. But she gets to have her own but heroic full, moment. Yeah, a yes. full scene. Uh huh. Yeah. Yep. And then next we have the lovely Monica. She was 
stealing scenes every chance she got. Every moment she was there. <laughs> every moment she was there. But, what was really cute about watching them reconnect. Her and Carol? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There was... Even though Carol didn't have actual the memories, memories mm-hmm. there was this immediate warmness. There was this mm-hmm. familiarity mm-hmm. that they had that she wasn't scared of the situation. Yeah. She was... And Monica was like, oh, you'll remember me. Like, oh, yeah. I'm just, I'm just going to keep going forward. Where have you been? What have you been doing? Like, she, she wasn't scared of that situation either. Not at all. When she was presenting all those photos. Yeah. And this was when this happened. And this was when this happened. I this mean. Was, Morgan was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm going to cry. And I'm like, this is amazing. It was. I mean, it, there you felt their bond. You yeah, felt it. Yeah. 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 You knew. It, it just felt genuine. Yeah. Wasn't it awesome how we kind of got the little. A little, not necessarily an origin story for her, but just the seeing seed. her, yeah, just seeing her, seeing her at this age and her being exposed to aliens and all of this action this early, and it's so crazy because, okay, now that's this movie has happened. Carol comes back. We've seen that at the end of the film. How old is Monica right now? Is she at the age where she should be coming into her powers? Like you know what I'm saying? Like. Could she possibly pass up, pop up? Not necessarily an end game. Oh, but oh who, yeah. No, Monica? already Monica with powers already. So here's the thing, because remember, Carol was that was in the nineties when she left. Oh, oh, you're yeah. saying present day? Present day okay, Monica is old enough. Twenty three. I think they say twenty three years later to end the end game. Thing. Right. Yeah. I if Monica didn't, right. disa- so, didn't, dis- okay, how didn't disappear in the film, eight, <laughs> nine, ten. It was I don't hard think to she tell. was ten. Yeah, like eight. I yeah, thought eight, eight, eight. eight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. yeah. oh, it was like only six it. years before. So, well, right. it's too long enough to be able to say, "I remember this. I remember right. this." When you're that young, mm, good point. So, she might have been a little bit older. But it was it. It was also a powerful connection. Uh, for me, as a middle-aged person, to see someone flipping out actual photographs. <laughs> because now we all swipe our phones. Yes. And to yes. see photos of occasions, wow. because then there's fewer of them. They have, be- they you know, they don't have good exposure and all that. Yeah. It, that yeah. was a really nice uh, uh, moment to see. Yeah, that was amazing. That was amazing. I did like... Uh, that final scene where we see her before Carol leaves and she's got a black and white little dress on. And that's like, there it is. It's a tribute to the colors for her costume. Right. Right there. Right. They, and then her hair was out. So it kind of matched her look. And I was like, oh, this is amazing. It was just amazing. Is it, is it important to note that she is actually the first captain, female Ms. captain Marvel. Marvel? Yeah. Um, Monica. Yeah. She was actually the first Captain Marvel. Right. Ah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because Carol didn't get to be Captain Marvel. She was Ms. Marvel first, and right. then she was uh, binary and Warbird. No, she was not Warbird. Excuse me. That's <laughs> wrong. Warbird. Oh, there are people listening to this who are <laughs> terrible things. Um, but yeah, you're right. Be gentle. You're right. right. Yeah, she, I forgot about that. She didn't come to the Captain Marvel. Then she was Ms. Marvel again. Mm-hmm. Um, and then when like full time when happened. Mike when uh, Brian Michael Bendis was writing like the Avengers book, she still had that black outfit with yeah the big, with the white with the big star on it. Big, yeah, yeah. Um, so real quick, she uh-huh. was eleven. Okay. And she would be thirty five at the time of oh. Avengers Endgame. She has to have powers at this point. From what? I don't. I don't remember how oh. she got them in the first place. Oh, huh. Yeah, I don't remember how she got her powers. But I mean, if you're... How she got... How did, how did how, Photon... Ooh, wow. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> and she got to be Photon, I was yes. reading recently, mm-hmm. because there was a clone son of Captain Marvel called Genisvel. 
What? And he wanted to come back and take his father's mantle back. And so then she went to be Photon or whatever. Okay. You know, these permutations <laughs> of this mantle goes back and forth. Oh, my god. Between gosh. qualified individuals. <laughs> yes. Slightly qualified individuals. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I, we'll, I, I'm going to let you keep doing research. Mm-hmm. MJ, you look really, really busy over there. Really Super busy. They can't so hear it. Right but now. understand, she's busy. She's quiet. She's busy. Up next, we got Phil Coulson. Oh, Phil. I love Clark Gregg. <laughs> it's Clark Gregg, right? I it's think Greg so. Clark. It's Greg Clark. 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 Oh, gosh. Uh, <laughs> he is such a wonderful actor. Um, You're right, Clark Gregg. He, uh, if anybody hasn't seen it, there's that really wonderful little uh, Shakespeare film that Joss Whedon directed that he's in. That's real nice. But I loved seeing him in this movie. I wanted so much more of him. Yeah, I, I loved I him with a full yeah, head of I hair. More. I loved that Phil Coulson look. Yeah, I was glad that it didn't. He didn't have to make such a huge leap of faith to know that he could trust Nick Fury. Yeah, that this man yeah. was was someone I could trust and he was going to do the right thing. Yeah. Yeah. That in was the good. face of all obstacles. And so, okay, I get it. You're going to run off with this gal who crashed into Blockbuster. <laughs> uh, well, that I heard about shooting Blockbuster stuff out hands. and you then run off with my scroll. That moment in the car was awesome too. Man. Oh yeah. The struggle in the car yeah, and then changing boss. to the scroll and then oh, Nick yeah. ro- just, you know, taking that in and rolling with it. Like, okay, I'm going to cover this cover this scroll up and move on and move right. forward leaving right. this car here right mm-hmm. what'd you find i found this is a lot do it due to bombardment by extra dimensional energies rambo can transform herself into any form of energy within the electromagnetic spectrum among the many energy forms she is assumed and is able to control are cosmic rays, gamma rays, x-rays, ultraviolet radiation, visible light, electricity, infrared radiation, microwaves, radio radio waves, and neutrino... I don't know how to pronounce that, so we're moving forward. Uh, By assuming an energy form, she gains all of the energy's properties. What? She is invisible and intangible in many of her energy forms. Okay. So... She needs to be a character that pops up in Endgame, just because. <laughs> <laughs> Holy wow. moly, Maybe don't ask. It. What? What does it even mean? I don't think even from... I don't think we even know enough about the cast of Endgame yeah. to, to speculate. Yeah. Because, nah. Nah. you know, there are people who could have been guests on the set to people who actually spent time filming. filming. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and I feel like a lot of the filming was happening and people didn't really know what they were filming for. Honestly. Right. Because there were things that would, you know... Some of the actors are saying that they were shooting a lot of the stuff at the exact same time, mm-hmm. straight up. So yeah, but she is she is a relevant enough character for them to cast an adult, and you know for us to see her in what Phase Four is what's coming up now. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Phase Four. She needs yes. to be somewhere in Phase Four. Oh, she's definitely in Phase yeah. Four. There's she's, no question. Yeah. Come on, no question. Yeah, yeah. yeah you don't do an. Uh, you don't. They're, you don't, they don't give us they're, that They're not much cheap on setup. No, they Marvel, are not in Marvel movies. They they show <laughs> everything for a good reason most <laughs> yeah. of the time. Yeah. Yeah. All um, right. So how? Okay. So now, now let's talk about Carol. Huh? Carol. Let's talk about Carol. Veers. 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 <laughs> Interesting how they got that extra vowel yes. sound yeah. out of that combination. Just not vers. Years. Just made it what they wanted. Yeah. yeah. Well, isn't that what they do? <laughs> Those dirty, rotten Cree. Yeah. <laughs> Take you and shape you how they want. Um. Yeah. Veers. Veers. Yeah. Good right. performance all the way through. This was, I think, only my second time with Brie Larson. I only remember her from Kong, from the Kong Skull Island film. Mm. Yeah. Um, she killed that. She was good in that. Mm. Um, but I don't remember. I don't think I've seen her do anything else. So I was in the same boat with you until I remember she was in Scott Pilgrim. Oh, I'm guilty of not seeing that. Mm. Michael, I know. <laughs> what I know, it's really good. It's it's all the way up your alley. 
<laughs> I can't even believe it. you know because I I sold hundreds of copies of that at Counter Media when I um, spent no interest? Sundays there, but I never really. Um, I never really did more than flip through it. And then when the movie came along, uh, ordinarily, you know, someone like Chris, because Chris Evans is in it, right? Yes, you he know? is. <laughs> and uh, he's a he's a fine looking fella. Um, <laughs> but I never got around to watching it. I don't know why. I'll usually oh, watch any, so any comic book movie that comes along just try. to see, just to see what you do translating the material. Because yeah. I, I realize as a, a a comic, a lifetime comics fan that that comics has its own thing about how um, time and language and picture and other things are unique unto itself that are different than film, mm. yeah, or animation. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Animation can come a little closer, um, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Um, where was I going with that? We were talking about uh, your previous experience of Brie. Oh, Brie Larson, and yeah, so I I had no, I had no bias or any kind of like, uh, you know, mm-hmm. I don't know anything will about her. And good? then yeah. will she be good? You know, because they're not. They didn't. They emphasized her as a warrior in the trailers, yeah. and you know, folks complained that she didn't smile. And I'm thinking, well, male heroes aren't really smiling in their trailers. What, what warriors? Come on now. Give what it time. Give fact, give the like, thing time. You know, and she was smile. just marvelous. You know, like when she the I think there was a one time on the bus where she, you know, her hair and yeah. you know, all right, here we go. I'm gonna come into you again. Um, you know, she, I loved all of her, um, her facial expressions and her uh, body language and stuff. I never, I never questioned. I was I totally bought into. To this interpretation yeah. of a of a character, yeah, that yeah. we hadn't been hadn't seen before. It wasn't like we'd have no introduction from something else, right? Um, I didn't feel like uh, overly convinced. It just felt right. It mm-hmm. felt like that's how she's supposed to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There were no there mm-hmm. were there were no other heroes in the film that we had to gauge her up against to validate her. No, right? No, which was just amazing. Like. Again, going back to the little things. Remember when uh, she was fighting on the uh, the uh, scroll ship, and that one scroll yells at her, and she yells back at it. <laughs> it's like, ah, yeah. it was marvelous. It was a great moment. Yeah. It's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yes. Given as good as she's getting, yeah, if yes. not better. Yeah. So, and she had her peers among the other, you know, Star Force team. Yes. Yeah. So she's already used to working. Um, amongst a group who all seem to have some sort of special power set or something right um or assistance in some way right Mm -hmm. so she didn't have to feel alien she looks like other kree right right Um, right yeah um i her performance totally like won me over in the way that she's a badass going into the (laughs) film you Whatever you're going to give me, I'm going to find out. When that film was over, it was like, okay, she is not to be fucked with. (laughs) Um, She can stand toe to toe and really kick the ass of a great many heroes we've been introduced to in this universe already. Whatever we thought we heard. getting more powerful than that? Bruh. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I mean, we can have that different discussion. But but man. Did you get a chance to watch the trailer for Endgame yet? Oh, yes. Uh, multiple uh-huh. times today. Yeah, multiple I've times. I've only yeah. seen it three times. Three I teen. think. I think you watched. Oh, <laughs> you watched it three teams. Huh? I, yeah, I've seen it. Uh, okay, yeah. three teen. Yeah, I, I came downstairs. I was like, Alexa, uh, play the. Uh... Oh, yeah. what a wonderful thing to be able to do! I haven't even seen it on a big screen yet. I haven't. I, it hasn't been on the four K yeah, TV at home yet. I, wasn't I haven't done that. Home yet. long enough to before coming to visit with you folks that. Right. Uh, to take it in further i had mixed feelings about the first part of that trailer and then we have our carol scene and (sighs) so i was scared i was scared i thought i was watching a fake trailer in the first part because it was all you know previous scenes i was like Mm -hmm. this isn't a real trailer trailer god Mm -hmm. and then yeah but that part at the end with her and thor and i'm like 
Yeah, because it could happen. Yeah. It, it could, could go happen. down. It could go down, Thor. This it, could this, not this, end well for you. <laughs> Her powers are derived from... It, it can end very bad for you, sir. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was awesome. And she just stood there for a little self. Yeah. And Never flinched. Mm-hmm. Never flinched. She flinch. looked over and was just like... And... <laughs> Tight. Someone mentioned <laughs> that because of her uh, her powers being derived from the stone, that that affected her aging. So she ages like Thor. Oh, yeah, yeah. So she's gonna look this way for quite some time. Well, she's got to. Hey, hey now. So, uh, how did you guys feel about the origin and how that was all explained? It's believable. Was hard to swallow. How do you feel like? How do you feel they handled it? I was essentially good with it, but I was already thinking, okay, if this has something to do with the tesseract, mm-hmm. does that mean when she goes up against Thanos in the next Avengers movie that that has him an advantage, like he could with uh, Scarlet, both Scarlet Witch right. and the Vision, right? Uh, uh-huh. Since they're Power sets are both derived from the mm-hmm. right from Stones. that yeah 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 so I don't know it, 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 I I wasn't really clear about how that that relationship yeah that relationship but I was really excited that oh it's a little accident it it, uh, <laughs> um, it, re- it almost reminded me of um, six million dollar man mm-hmm. uh huh you know where he, he the the only pilot with the space with the ship and crashes and then. You know, and they put them back so, together. Put them back together. Right. I don't want to. I don't really think that there's enough of a comparison. I think I'm just plucking that out of the air <laughs> for sure. But uh, I love the. I love that man. that it was an accident. I love that there was a little more ac- interaction with her and uh, Jude Law. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, <laughs> on the ground before he uh, stuns her and yeah. takes her right. off. Right. Um, right. Uh, speaking of Jude Law. And the end of the the conclusion of their storyline between him and him and Vers or v- Veers, mm-hmm. I I was kind of like she just stuck him back in the bucket and sent him back to embarrass him. <laughs> and then someone pointed yeah. out, well, yeah, you're a man, you're going to be really embarrassed if you get sent back with your tail between your legs. Yeah. And, and I thought, and the news oh, she sent him back. Yeah. With. I just feel like she'd kill him too. I felt like that was an option that was on the table. Like just blast, I, I did too. blast his chest hollow, and then ch- ch- chuck him back in the vehicle and send him back. Yeah. Like, okay, this is what's coming. That's a message coming soon to your. Planet. That is a very clear right. message coming soon to the Cree. Empire. I definitely thought that was on the table. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and definitely lightweight li- disappointed. A little disappointed there that mm-hmm. he got gets to just go home. I think we were all happy that there wasn't that tussle he was asking for. <laughs> I, I mean, sure. To prove to you. Like, I think you kind of saw it coming to you. Like, she's, she better not hand to hand this guy. No, we don't need that. We, we're, no, we're not, just kill no, him and be done. No, because we already yeah. saw like, it. I don't, yeah, exactly. we've seen it the whole movie. Exactly. We saw their whole practice session. Yeah. 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 And played out a couple of times, actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was, uh, when they gave when the origin story through the flashback, which um, was given to us through that black box audio <laughs> <laughs> that scene was hilarious as we're waiting the cd-rom to load, <laughs> the CD-ROM oh, to load. i remember those days <laughs> was that windows 95 <laughs> <laughs> or that windows with be. i wonder if that was windows with work groups 3.11 oh, God. that was oh, all God. the rage before, right before um <laughs> windows nt and then windows not windows oh. nt oh, oh. And watching those load times or anything, I so remember all of that. It was, oh, I finally got a video I can play on my (laughs) computer. Oh, it's loading. It's loading. But it's on the CD, and I got a really fast CD. (laughs) No, it's still loading. It was so bad. It was so bad. But I remember, I remember, uh, as they played that out, and we saw the explosion and everything, I was like, oh. You probably heard me. I was like, oh, that is so hot. <laughs> How they did. Oh, that was perfect, man. None of that seems stupid. <laughs> this is real. Oh, that was great. So, yeah, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. And then, you know, having the Tesseract being introduced 
as that power source. It was just like, you know what, Marvel? You know what, MCU? Huh? Great job. Great job, people. <laughs> You're doing it. You've done it. Okay. I mean, okay, I'm sorry. It's really bad. Oh, okay. okay, refresh my Tesseract memory. So the Tesseract was in that ship that she crashed in. Is that right? No. What the, was the energy? So, because the was, energy source that was powering that engine was from the Tesseract. Ah, right. Okay. They use about she used the energy okay. of the Tesseract to create that engine. That okay. Light, that light okay. engine. Yeah. Yeah. But the Tesseract itself was still up in her laboratory. That's in right. Order. That's mm-hmm. right. In the Fonzie box. In yeah. Which she put in the Fonzie box. Yeah, put in the Fonzie box, but it was in <laughs> some type of. Uh, Thing, thing harness that just holds it yeah. in place. You know, you know, you're one of the mill tesseract harness, right? Yeah. Right. You know, get it, it a true value. Yeah, Fonts of lunchbox. <laughs> got it. What could it be was... better? I've already spied those repros of those on the shelves. I think at Target. Really? What? The yeah. Fonz uh, the Fonz oh, lunch pail. They're, they're out. Shut wow. Up. Yeah. Wow. It so fast. <laughs> Anything to get your dollar. Yeah. I man. saw it in a movie. I gotta have it now. <laughs> well, there's two action figures on the table that, <laughs> <laughs> like I was saying before we before we got on, that I would have said last year. Oh, I won't add those to the collection, and then oh, I could pre-order these now this last fall. <laughs> oh, these are great! I love them. They're so much fun. The movie's gonna be great, and then I go to the movie. Oh, it was great. <sighs> okay, so what, what so changed nerd, your so mind? Nerd. I don't know. They're designed so nicely to be. Honest, I have very few female action figures. Mm. I used to collect a lot in Star Wars and uh, Batman Adventures. Okay, when there was a, when it, that was the time when a female figure would be a lot rarer because all of that was considered boys' toys. Yeah. even though definitely that is not true. Yeah, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, all children played with Star Wars action figures. Yep. I have not met a Star Wars fan that didn't that didn't play with action figures if they were a fan, yeah. no matter who yeah. you were. Get those things out of the package. Yes, get them out of the package. Play with yeah. them. Pose them on your, pose them on your shelf. Come I on. ordered I ordered stands from China just so she could have a flight stand. That, so stand, that stand's amazing. So we gotta, so we're going to get that on the social media. That stand's amazing. <laughs> on the socials. On the socials. <laughs> on the socials. Oh, boy. Over at Themes. MJ, we talked about it off the air. I would like for you to revisit. It's women empowerment, man. Man. That was uh, a, a bunch of different ways where we could see uh, it being manipulated and your emotions being ma- manipulated and you feel as if you have to control those emotions mm-hmm. instead of uh, exercising any of them. And the flip of it is her controlling all of her emotions, getting rid of, rid of any outside manipulation and uh, suppression sources or whatever. Right. She was her most powerful. Man. Whoa. Unlocked. Not to be effed with. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like super powerful. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Binary power achievement. Unlocked. <laughs> yes. Man. When mm-hmm. she lit up, and it's not like we didn't see it in, in the trailer. Mm-hmm. When she lit up in that ship, I was like, "Man, you guys are about to get." It looked better down. in the movie than the trailer. Too. Oh, oh, hell yeah. absolutely. Hell yeah. Okay, absolutely. Okay. I feel like so. Everything... Way to play that because I was I was lightweight disappointed about the trailer. Like, okay, oh, okay, she lights up. The, okay, mm-hmm. the it same looked thing. So much better in the movie. The same thing with the scenes of her getting up at the different ages. We saw that in the trailer. But when it happened in the film, the impact was just like, oh, oh, with yeah. the context of all of it, yeah, yes. right. And the yes. idea that you could ever be thinking that you're, or you're being told that you're weak and that you you fall down all of the time, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. look, how, you know, look how much you fuck up. But the um, you're getting up every single time and not quitting. Yeah. Did you did you notice um, cinematically how? They used that theme of her getting up, and the the time was either a compressed slice or they expanded it a little bit to give you context and built on that throughout the movie yeah. as part of the narrative. But it was you never felt like you were overseeing the same clip again and again. Oh, yeah. I'm seeing the next few seconds after, or it, it was really 
beautifully inserted yes. to see her at these ages and these experiences and yes. I'm getting up again. Yeah. That was Absolutely. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we're talking plots and subplots. What were some of the, your favorite subplots and story arcs that you saw happen throughout the film? Well, I'll just say really quick. Michael says that the villains were muddy to him. I felt like Jude Law was the real villain the whole time. <laughs> like, he was not trustworthy at all. He never felt like an ally to me. Mm. Mm-hmm. Ever. We were, we, were, we were actually calling that in the trailers, too. Yeah, we were like, he this just guy seems feels like a... This is and, a... and not knowing the comics, and mm-hmm. not, I didn't know if, that, if he was supposed to be like that. Mm-hmm. And it was a misdirection that way. Either way, when I never felt like he was not the villain. Right. So that story arc of I, me getting a reveal that I thought that was going to happen was great. <laughs> you know, like, and maybe that's why it was so easy to believe the scrolls. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But that plot, I. I felt that he was a little more of a tool of the supreme intelligence than necessarily. Oh. Um acting on his own design as a villain, which is why I, I, That's I'm fair. a little bit more, uh, he's murky. He found her. He takes her back. He's the one who's, you know, the leader of star force and coaching her through all these things. He's part of the programming, the loyalist. but they still yeah. have all the interaction with the Supreme intelligence. And, uh, I feel like I get the impression from, her having seen so much of um, uh, Annette, Annette Benning's face reinforcing, you know, Lawson, that there was a little bit more interaction going on between the her and the interface, the Cree interface, mm-hmm. the, the Cree mm-hmm. intelligence, and mm-hmm. um, she was manipulated that way as well. Psycholo- you know, deeply psychologically, they yeah. were oh, yeah. tooling with her. How those memories are going to be accessed when you open the memory drawer which pieces of the memory are are there oh you're only getting fragments Mm -hmm. so that we can lay over this extra thing on her Mm -hmm. so it was great that she got to you know she when she's coming up to her powers that she is reacting against the um yeah the intelligence the supreme intelligence Yeah. yeah and i i'm i'm wondering if the supreme intelligence is really you know damaged significantly because of that blowback right. or if we were just seeing you know what carol's visual interpretation was ah good point good point um one of the uh subplots i really enjoyed actually as it all played out was the whole refugee angle yeah and they <laughs> they, uh, they weren't hiding the current day social political references at all. No. Not at all. I, I believe they even said borders were actually mentioned at one point. You're close to someone saying a wall. We were really close. Mm-hmm. I was just mm-hmm. like, wow. This is great. This is awesome. Um, so yeah, I, I was definitely digging all of that and just that turnaround again, expecting them to be the villains and you know this race we can't relate to and then we have so much compassion for them and we're very concerned about what is going to happen to them. Like it, that, that was just, that was dope. I, as I was listening and checking out some of the Easter egg videos after we saw the film, uh, I just let the, let YouTube just go. So suggestion after suggestion, just different videos popping up. And there was a guy that completely hated the film, hated it. And some of the things he was picking out, I'm like, wow, you, you're you one of these fanboys that does not want their world turned upside down with the woman hero. Because he was like, oh, all of those scenes where he's like, oh, smile and you know why they call it a guy. No, no one talks like that. Who does that? And I was like. Oh, dudes. All the time. I was like, wow. All the time. Men. I boys, feel like. Dudes. <laughs> yeah. All ages. All ages. Yeah. <laughs> Where does he live? I was like, wow, you uh, mm, you really choose to live with blinders on, huh? 
<laughs> and he was like, the film was just, he hated Brie Lawson's uh, performance. He yeah, only loved Nick. Great. That's it. He only loved Nick. Dollars to Donuts, that individual has a lot of TNA comic books like Oh, like yeah. Lady Death or Jungle Girl, yeah, or, Barbarella, you know, yeah, no, all kinds of very, yeah. very, you know, Vampirella, mm-hmm. all kinds mm-hmm. of stuff, you know, where the it's a you know a sexy female character who's yep. supposed to be empowered, but really it's just soft core. That's exactly comics. What it is. That's exactly you know, what it is. yeah, which <laughs> is not you know. What are we still doing? It's 2019. <laughs> if you're gonna see the movie, aren't you gonna? Aren't you going to have a good time? Aren't you going with the intent that you're gonna go have a date night or a, you know, it's your superhero movie night with your buddies or any of right. those wonderful things? Because even even in even when I don't necessarily care for one or the other of the the films that'll be released, I I, I always find something I can take away from it that I, I really loved or um, was presented, yeah. you know, because when I was a kid, we only had a few things like some Mar- uh, Marvel TV shows and mm. we had animated cartoons, yeah. but there wasn't those. much, there wasn't much live action, yeah. you know, and it's, it's, it's so fun that there's so much and everybody's enjoying it. Yes. I have struggled. I've had my own catharsis about, uh, I've, I've been doing this for so long and I get anxious about um, fandom in a way that's and here I am being confessional on a podcast um, <laughs> like when I was a kid it was such a it was a it was a cross to bear if you like superheroes and comic books mm. oh yeah right? oh yeah and now everybody likes it yeah and it's cool and your kids can have Spider-Man backpacks on the bus and no one's getting teased <laughs> nobody's getting it's called teased it blows baby. my mind yeah. you know yeah and so I, I think over the last year or two, it's been, you know, I'm okay with this. This is good. This is fun. We're all having fun. We're all and I'm so fun. glad that, that, that these movies are made and they're successful. And I get to have action figures <laughs> yeah. that I get to, you know, Jones for and, and all that good stuff. Yeah. Ronan. Ronan, who's blue immediately took me to another forthcoming Disney adaption that we can save for another <laughs> podcast. Um, but it just, it, the blue is so bright and odd. Let me ask you this. Was the blue that different from in Guardians? Yeah, because in Guardians, he's got, a, I he's think got there's the a little red, I think the there's black. a little red accent around the eyes and, and his the... skin's a bit darker and tarnished looking. Oh, I thought I remembered you know, him having like he did have black. he didn't darker, have the bright blue. He had the darker ones, the face. darker things over his eyes. You're right. There was like a black and or like a deeper, yeah. darker purple or blue mm-hmm. around the eyes. Yeah, he um, had a different look. It was okay. a different look. Yeah, I had so trouble realizing that was the same <laughs> actor. Yeah, he didn't look the same to me for a while, and then mm. caught a couple angles and was like, I guess I could see it. Ronan Man. the Accuser. Ronan the Ronan. Accuser, who's. The dick of all dicks, right? <laughs> he like, definitely is. He's an extremist. He definitely right. is. <laughs> um, he got his ass handed to him really, really quickly. Um, Carol tore through that a fleet. ship. A, a... Yeah, she tore through the fleet like she'd been doing this for 20 years. That was fun. We haven't seen much of that in previous superhero fair where we go from the upper atmosphere and out into space and she's just handily punching spaceships out of the sky or back into space or spiraling around and you know shooting photon blasts and (laughs) it was so exciting to see all of this this ballet in space yes it was a lot of fun yeah really really well done on screen i think i Uh, absolutely agree lots of fun yeah and then that uh, that move at the end, mm-hmm. what was that? Like a clap she did. What did she do? Uh, yeah, a thunder clap. I'm pretty sure and, that's the and, name and, of it. And, and Ronan was just like, hmm. beam of light, just was like, yeah. <laughs> or it was like, uh, I'm coming back for that lady. We'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. I wonder if we'll get that period of time right. at all. So uh, that's one of the speculations for her trilogy that you know the second film will handle what happened between. You know, this one and Endgame. 
So we'll get some of that, you know, her out in space and dealing with other, uh, you know, races and introducing other planets and stuff. So the, they got, they got, they can go all over the place with this thing. They really can. Mm-hmm. They really, really can. Okay, so let's compare it to other Marvel films. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> it's fun, like Guardians, like Ant Man and Wasp. It's fun. It's family fun. It has just yeah. enough grown up things that grown ups can see and, and and care about and care about to make it fun to take the family because there's nothing there that's you know anything worse than star wars you know no True. one's beheaded or any no one no. lost a yeah, limb it's not blood all over right the place, right. right it's it's good family fare uh i'm thinking but really quickly i want to just tag on to you compared it to guardians and ant-man and wasp mm-hmm. and and ant-man and wasp uh i think because those are sort of the funnier marvel films yeah. and this is a funnier marvel film but it has its own humor all of those films have their own humor true and i think that's why they work so well this humor was was so great for this setup that time period you know um of course all of the fun easter eggs that they give you for being (laughs) seen the 90s Uh right um but yeah i i think that i think that that was oh yeah that definitely made it part of its fun that it was it was so great. Yeah. I might join it to um, Doctor Strange in terms of having its serious, its seriousness, enough seriousness and enough humor to carry it through. Because it's not as, it's not it's as not uh, silly in any way. Chuckles oriented as, as Ant-Man, Wasp, mm, true. Guardians true. and so forth. They have mm-hmm. a little bit more ongoing, you know. It's heavier. Yeah. Fart joke level yeah. stuff <laughs> um which is fun i enjoy all of those films how can you not enjoy drax i mean come on he's one of my he's, he's invisible he's, a... <laughs> he's i'm sure what? yeah <laughs> are you sure i'm it? sure of it yeah. it's marvelous <laughs> i'm marvelous yes, yes. this this uh um, so great this fun is it's fun with heart I think mm-hmm. that's for mm-hmm. me. That's a good way to describe this particular type of fun that we got in Captain Marvel. Um, so it wasn't just ha ha. This is hilarious fun. You were enjoying. Part of the fun was seeing the heartwarming moments. Part of the fun was seeing the connections. Yeah. Whether it was with Talos and his family, whether it was you know the, the two kids playing on the steps at the end of the film. Uh, you remember that. It was um, Maria and Talos' daughter. Oh, on the steps. yeah. Like, uh huh. Monica. Like, Monica, yes, Monica and Talos' daughter on the steps. Like all of that. That was part of the fun. That, that all those heartfelt moments. So yeah, yeah. This is a uh, man. It was a very unique Marvel experience. I would say there's also a lot of heart in the action, and that all of so much of the action, especially toward the end, was all about Carol's heart and her breaking through yeah. from the con- the Cree conditioning and so forth. So, yeah. you know, she's having to fight now her teammates, but that's because everybody was kind of in on, <laughs> yeah, in on the joke. <laughs> yeah. The girl was like, yeah. I never yeah. really liked you. Yeah. Just, never really liked you. Really yeah. Liked you. <laughs> so that... a, a tough thing to figure out <laughs> and, you know, in that way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know where I would put it yet. I don't think I'm ready to rank it like is it within my top five top seven oh we're not saying that yeah are we? Oh. No, no, no 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 we're not, oh, we're not. Wanna, i was just saying talking about raking it ranking yeah, it I'm not, into, no i was just saying normally that's Marvel easy for me to do films, oh like, it is. normally it's, it's like easy for me to do i could Marvel be like films. oh well you know okay. yeah you know you were able to do that with um winter soldier very easily we were able to do that with you know um uh infinity war very easily there's just something about the way this film hits that it's like, no, oh, this is something separate. And I don't know where it fits. If I had to, I don't know where it fits yet. And mm. maybe I need to watch it a couple more times just to be like, okay, all right. I know what I, I know where I can put this. Again, this isn't something I'm requiring of anyone else. It's just what I do in my head when I think about Marvel films. I always, you know, I have my top five. Mm. Yeah. yeah. A rotating top five. Rotating. Ro- 
<laughs> yeah, now. <laughs> yeah. So before we jump into rewatchability, there is a character, a pretty major character, that we didn't discuss. Right. Oh. Goose. Mm-hmm. Goose. Goose. Lurkin. <laughs> Lurkin. <laughs> Talos' reaction to Goose the first time. He's like, oh. oh. I would not. Pet it that. I would pet Don't that. touch it. <laughs> <laughs> uh uh-uh. uh. So I'm curious to what they look like off planet. You know, because it's not a cat anywhere else. Cats are native to Earth. So what what are they seeing? What does it look like off planet? Uh, I I don't know if they're shapeshifters or yeah. Not. I don't hmm. think I don't. So think is it always are. a cat everywhere? It's a cat everywhere. I think it's a cat everywhere. I. I I remember as getting ready for the film, mm-hmm. wanted to know what what is this? What is this? This flurkin, al- almost like a Cthulhu kind of cat. Yes, you Cthulhu know? is and not very just because accurate. it has the tentacles, but because it's suddenly so cosmic as well. Because mm-hmm. it can swallow a tesseract. Spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I think it's a reasonably recent thing that's been added to the comics, but mm. um, I'm guilty yeah. of not reading Captain Marvel comics. Right. right. Okay. All right. Well, how'd you guys feel about Goose? You know, I loved Goose. <laughs> I loved so Goose. Great. It was so hey, much you're fun. not a cat person. No. Yeah. Me too. Well, orange well, cats. Goose. The they reaction. Have a certain... The reaction that. Uh, Talos had is the reaction I have to every cat. Oh God, you're, what are you doing? Why are you what is it? <laughs> or don't hold it. Like don't that, hold right? it. Definitely don't let it walk on you. <laughs> that's my reaction. So all cats are flurkins to me. Yeah. Got gotcha. you. That's yeah. what. That's gotcha. what they are. Yeah. Yeah. You're See, right. I loved all of that. <laughs> oh, I that identified. Work for you? Yeah. yeah. Those I identified. big sticky tentacles are gonna come out at you. <laughs> you're like, yeah, that's what they look like. Swallow me whole. There's a kid's toy. You know, a little. Fluffy, flurkin cat. Oh. That when you m- activate some part of it, it opens his mouth and out come these little blue tentacles. Okay, this, is a, this is this is a children's toy. <laughs> wow. Wow. I know. Crazy. <laughs> Nailed that one, guys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Rewatchability. Oh, totally. I'm over and over. It. Yeah, I was ready to watch it right then. Again. <laughs> I was ready to too. Yeah. I would I would have sat back down and watched it again. Yeah. Absolutely. How about that? opening Marvel title sequence with Stanley. It's a polarizing topic. <sighs> polarizing topic for sure. Um, are you baiting me? No, I'm not. I think <laughs> we like when it ha- as it was happening. Not opposing views but I think yeah. that you guys you know. As it was happening uh, we had the same reaction. It was like oh, God, why yeah. did, why'd you do that? Oh, oh, oh man. Very close. I felt like, you uh-huh. know, the waterworks were beginning. Uh-huh. uh-huh. You know, the shift supervisor mm-hmm. wasn't on yet, so mm-hmm. we didn't get a full mm-hmm. release. Mm-hmm. But there was a backup. There was yep. something about to happen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh man. But it was it was it was great. It was great. I got there too. I had the same thing. I got the same thing. That was rough. I'm just gonna say Jack Kirby and we can move on. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Have... <laughs> <laughs> I love Stan. I think it's fair. <laughs> it's, yes, it's fair. I think it's fair. All right, so now we are at that moment. We're going to score it. So everyone, best from one to five, how would you score the film? Ooh. I'm going to go 4.5. All right. Can I do a decimal point? You can. Yes. I know there was some, we had some pre, had some <laughs> pre-recording <laughs> fussiness over... Um, how we you know score. how we parse things out. Um, it was. It's not like it could be improved. I think I just wanted more. Mm. So I think more. Maybe I don't know what more would be. I maybe a little more. I don't know what more would well, be. I just can't just even conceptualize it. I just wanted a little bit more. I I felt. I felt hungry for more. Yeah. Show That's me more of this. Yeah. And then we get our two end credit scenes. We now know we get the little reveal in with the Avengers and yeah. the bit in the new Endgame trailer that dropped tonight. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm excited. I'm, you know, I'm ready for some fresh some some fresh 
a new super face. heroics, new face. Yeah. <sighs> mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. What do you got? MJ? Man, he pretty much just what he said. <laughs> um, four point five. Four point five, and yes, what he said, and uh, they're kind of putting themselves in a place where I can't ever give them a five because I feel like they just keep topping it, and yeah. So then everything can't be a five, you know. Yeah. Oh, what was a five? Uh, the first Guardians was a five to me. Okay, I'll, I I'll, agree. I would agree. I would concur that, there. Yeah, that was like okay. That was a yeah, mallet. That was on a, the whole universe. We were like, whoa. Yeah. We did not know we were supposed to be laughing this much ever in, in a this kind film. of movie. Yeah. And the action was amazing. It was just like, whoa, come on, man. <laughs> like, yeah, mm-hmm. it was real. That 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 was an easy five for me. And yeah. we got celestials and watchers in that film i think it yeah. was just yes. it was so yeah making their universe bigger without spent working too hard yeah yeah oh so for the same reasons um that michael mentioned and and also like i don't it's like they all can't be fives right right you know <laughs> they all can't be fives. i agree i would give well this and a i think when you first see it mm-hmm. there's there's a, a, a element of wanting to give it like that's the best, you know. Yeah. Like you need to watch it again and watch it again before you say this is a five. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Like, I appreciate the um, tie-ins in this film going from the first Captain America all the way to Endgame, giving us that Tesseract history, mm-hmm. a scene, mm-hmm. Pegasus. You know, uh, yes, Project Pegasus, the early Quinjet. Like I appreciate everything they gave us through this film. And yes, could I? I could have sat for another half an hour. I don't know what that extra half what an hour would have been. been. But yeah, if it's on the cutting room floor, let's get it on the DVD. Let's get it on the yeah. Blu-ray. You give me more of that. <laughs> so yeah, I'm also scoring in the four and a half. Um, yeah. I, what else is there to do? Maybe, maybe just more of Samuel Jackson <laughs> since he's effectively second billing. And yeah. we've only been he's been teased so much throughout yeah. these films yeah and you're always left hungry for more yeah. and you Nick got fury such great fury yeah this you time got around. such great yeah, we fury did. we learned things and it was great to see him be who you expect someone in that role to be meaning he didn't have to be convinced so when it was like the scrolls can take over down to your DNA, but they're, they're not going to know necessarily uh, someone else's memory or whatever. Right. 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 Um, they get recent memories. That's it. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, so the fact that, you know, he calls him Nick in the elevator right. split second, just like everyone in the audience is like, Oh, and he's <laughs> like, wait a minute. They didn't, They didn't drag that out and make him have to, you know, be convinced that this guy was the bad guy. (laughs) He he got to get it with us. And I loved it. I loved that 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 seems that's who I think is supposed to be in a role like that. It's someone who doesn't who gets it real quick. Instead of needing to be convinced by a two hour long movie that then they finally go, oh, I guess that was the bad guy. Oh, I never should have doubted you. Right. right. Oh, right. yes. Oh, we yes. went through all of this. It could have been different. Yeah. Right. It's very smart. Right. So I'm, mm-hmm. I'm happy to see that happening with, a, you know, some sort of weird government agency role. You think that these people are really smart. So be smart. Right. And it was happening. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, looks like the final score is 4.5. <laughs> Ooh, for this film no surprise there no surprise no surprise um yeah this was amazing if you haven't seen it yet uh you know why are you, you probably here? shouldn't have listened but definitely go see it for those that have seen it please comment let us know what you th- you know let us know your thoughts on the film we always love the feedback and uh, yeah, thank you guys, Michael. Thank you for joining oh, us. Oh, you're most welcome. We're looking we forward. We hope to this you. is the first time, not the last. Yes. Time. <gasps> oh, that'd be awesome. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't like to talk about film and comics and mm-hmm. bring some toys to along to tinker with? <laughs> yes. Thank you so much for yes, coming. Thank you, and thank you guys for listening. All right, we'll catch you in the next show. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Oh, great. You're still there. Thank you for listening to another episode of a podcast that has no name. If this is your first time, check us out. Please make sure you subscribe. We're on Apple Music, 
Spotify, Google, all the places where you listen to podcasts. And follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Podcast has no name. Deuces. Subscribe, please, please, please. Click and comment.